Today is April 3rd. Still holding off, not doing too much cleanup in the flower beds. It's a windy day. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Gonna clear this pathway out, just throw the leaves back into the flower bed. Any kind of thick globby areas I'm going to scatter throughout the bed, kind of even it out. I am leaving some of the hollow stem debris. Like this is a hollow stem. Just in case. Um, I'm gonna cut back the ornamental grass and put that out anything that I'm cutting back right now I'm just gonna make a little pile I'm not gonna compost it yet just in case there's a little pollinator egg cases in there or pollinators hanging out and try to do our best not to get too overzealous early in the spring wait till it warms up it's still going down to the 30s at night trying to wait until it evens out maybe 50 at night and that's usually around April 15th in Virginia where I'm situated I'm also going to take the opportunity to lightly dig out some of this mountain mint that I have at the base of my little father Julia really don't want it growing up into it I wanted to show you a little bit about mountain mint. It's one of the best pollinator friendly plants. As you can see, it has runners or roots, which makes it good and bad. It means it can be fairly aggressive, but the good news is you can fairly readily just pull it out. So I've gone through with a shovel and lightly teased the top layer. I don't want to dig down into the roots of my shrub, kill it, damage it, and then it fairly easily just pulls out these runners. I did cut back my one grass clump, and I am removing anything that's of what I call a weed, doesn't belong in the flower bed. And I have cleared around my father Julia so it can breathe. I will put some leaves around it. I have some excess leaves because it's still it's pretty cold at night. I have trimmed back the roses somewhat. They can bloom fairly early. I vegged just about half of the flower bed. And my last thing to do is just to throw some leaves on it. I don't want the grass to be encouraged to go towards the flower bed. And I don't want the flowers encouraged to go towards the grass. So that helps slow down a little bit. Just redistribute some of these leaves. We have two weeds that are in the flower bed. It's a little purple nettle. And then there's this little white plant that when you touch it when it goes to seed it flies seed all over the place I call it a poppy plant because it just pops seeds everywhere you know there was a book called right plant right place and in my flower bed the purple nettle I really don't want it to go crazy or this little white poppy plant so I'm going to take them out of my flower bed. They're just here and there. We have a whole two acre lawn full of them. I'm very happy for them to just take over the whole lawn. But sometimes in your flower beds, you need to control the weeds. I am letting the violets multiply in the flower bed. And that's about the only technical weed that I permit. Unless you want to call yarrow a weed, and I love yarrow, and I do have it in this flower bed. It's coming up. 
do have to maintain it and root it out every year or it too can be pretty aggressive. The mountain mint likes to escape. Our lawnmower would take care of it, but I just don't want to take over the whole yard particularly. <laughs> also, like an idiot, planted vinca. I think it's quite pretty in the spring, but it's also very annoying. It's aggressive. Wish I had never put it here. I have plenty of other plants that can take up that space. I had to cut back my catoniaster. And I cleared my pathway. Yay!